Let's try this problem now. Um, how many primary, secondary, tertiary, and quaternary carbons does this have? This compound have? Remember, primary carbons um, are the carbon only has uh, one other carbon bonded to it. Secondaries have two, tertiaries have three, and quaternaries have four. Okay. So let's go ahead and look around this molecule. So I can see now if I have three, so all car all of these carbons have four bonds to them. So if a carbon has three hydrogens bonded to it in particular, it's a primary. So we can see this carbon here has three hydrogens bonded to it. This one has two. So let's just put these down. So this is the primary, three hydrogens. This one has two hydrogens, so it's a secondary. This carbon here, remember that's a carbon, it has one carbon, two carbons, three carbons bonded to it, so it's a tertiary carbon. This is a carbon here, so it's got one, two carbons bonded to it, it's a secondary. Where are its hydrogens? Well, remember they're understood to be there. So we don't always show it in organic chemistry. So here's another secondary, here's another secondary, Here's another secondary. Here's a carbon. One, two, three carbons. So that's a tertiary carbon bonded to one, two other carbons. Or you can see the two hydrogens. So that's a secondary carbon bonded to one hydrogen. So one hydrogen that's going to be a tertiary carbon. Here's a carbon bonded to three hydrogens. So that's going to be a primary carbon, because it's only bonded to the one other carbon. And this carbon is also a primary carbon, okay, for the same reason. So let's just go ahead and count up all of our numbers now. So we got one, so one, two, three primaries. Secondaries, one, two, three, four, five, six secondaries. Tertiaries, one, two, three. Quaternaries, none. All right, so three, six, three, so there's 12. So let's just make sure how many carbons we got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So that about does them all. We'll do some more of these in a little bit.